It took me around a month to get to know Nauru a bit better and this led to seven lessons I learned from this country. Here they are. 1. I learned how important it is to appreciate what you have and to be grateful for it. Noruans are now in a position that can hardly be described as beneficial. They are isolated from the world, relying on other countries' resources and endangered by climate change. However, they have a positive attitude to life, they are polite and kind to each other and value other people. 2. The unique history of Nauru taught me that nature is more important than I could imagine and that we all are part of it. As soon as we destroy nature, we prepare the path for our own destruction. Noruans allowed foreign companies to exploit their land to such extent that Nauru's inhabitants cannot grow even the amount of edible plants they need to survive and must import everything from outside instead. The government of Nauru did not think long term back then, but sold their land for money and by doing this, they let their own people lead an unhealthy lifestyle several decennia later. Besides, the garbage left on the island made some flora and fauna representatives almost extinct. So, Nauru taught me how important it is to choose the ecologically best products and to keep the nature clean. 3. Nauru is a tiny country where all people are connected, both genetically, at least, the native Noruans, and because of the distance from other land. In one of his speeches, the president of Nauru said that in Noruan there is no word for cousin. Instead, Noruans use the words brother and sister to refer to cousins. This shows how close people are to each other. Nauru taught me love to family and desire to be together with others, as well as inspired the name of our YouTube channel. 4. Nauru taught me how important it is to be healthy. Currently, the country is one of the most obese places in the world. It is not Norwan's fault though. It is the imported products that are responsible for that. Since Norwans have lived for around 3,000 years far away from the rest of the world and have eaten only products that they could gather themselves, their bodies were not used to the Western diet that is so popular on the island nowadays. Noruan's traditional meals were fish, coconuts and their milk, tropical fruits, such as mango, lime and pandamus, as well as different other edible plants, such as tomato trees and flavors like hibiscus, that were growing on their land. Besides, Noruans were much more active before when they grew or caught their food themselves. They also had traditional games and sports, such as ibibo, or softball played with a rock, weightlifting in Ikebar air, or wrestling. This led also to a better health. So, Nauru made me think about these things and change some of my eating and sports habits and improve my body. I learned more about food and movement thanks to Nauru. 5. Thanks to Nauru, I learned also how important it is to believe. Nowadays, Noruans have Christianity as a primary religion. In Nauru's constitution is written that everyone has the right to choose their religion and live according to it. Before Christianity, Noruans used to have different beliefs but still being a good person was important for Noruans. This teaches me that every religious choice must be respected. 6. Nauru taught me also how important it is to preserve your own culture and language. Nowadays, there is just one grammar book on Noruan language and it was written almost a century ago. In that time, the language has changed. Moreover, Noruan language is a small one and is spoken only on Nauru. If we let this language disappear one day, that would be a loss for humanity's cultural knowledge. 7. I learned that the most important things in life are for free. Air, water, sun, and a good attitude to life. What about you? What lessons did Nauru teach you? I would express one more time my appreciation for Nauru, my hope that the life of its inhabitants will improve, and my wish to visit this amazing country one day.